when the magma came the houses was there but they was not touched over about two years ago the lives of hundreds of people living in this area were changed forever when the Niragongo volcano erupted now of course we saw all that on tv but me being in the rc this entire week i cannot wait uh, to visit a couple of places and one of those places is this exact region So I'm getting a chance to get up close and personal with exactly the rocks uh, directly from the volcano. Okay, it's making a funny noise. I hope it doesn't interrupt. <laughs> so when you see from my background, uh, unfortunately, because it's a cloudy day, you're not able to see Nyiragongo very well, but that is where the volcano is. I don't know if you can see part of it, but yeah, if it was a clearer day, I'm being told that we would have seen, uh, gotten a better angle uh, of the volcanic mountain so all this area all that you see uh, remains from the eruption that took place two years ago right here in the Nyiragongo region of course many families were displaced because i'm pretty sure there were people's houses here uh which all got burnt by the magma and of course i'm going to show you how some of the people actually lost their homes where how they are now living in camps because of uh this whole eruption 364,000 people were forced to flee their homes after the eruption of Mount Nyiragongo. Now, the majority of these people have since returned home, but an estimate of 5,612 people from over 1,900 households remain displaced and are currently living in these collective centers and temporary sites like these UN tents. So the most amazing part about this region is that uh, because I'm guessing the magma was flowing this way, hence this that you're seeing here. And uh, as we all know, at least I read that in SSC and Geography, uh, the area where uh, the eruption takes place always ends up uh, turning into the most fertile land. Uh, of course, with time, maybe if this clears up, we're going to see that. But if you can see from this side, I'm being told that this is one of the most fertile parts of this region. As you can see, I'm, I'm seeing maize somewhere. I think there are some potatoes somewhere. And I'm being told that that is the most fertile area. As, a, as Congolese living in Goma, we are using these stones to make uh, roads. Now we are building streets through these stones. There is a way we cut them very smartly. Even I made a video about it and it is making a very nice street and i think in this same particular video we have to show the details how the how the stones that has been a uh, remain or let's say lava become to uh, become an advantage. an advantage for the community yeah okay. can we talk about so when when the magma was flown it stopped somewhere so those houses were saved right like it didn't get to them so okay they were, they were lucky right yeah sure you know when the magma came mm. the houses was there but they was not touched and all the houses around here was touched but the other ones was very lucky to and wow. they were saved those are really and lucky people. sure and people now are, are, are they are benefiting from living there now now they can put food and harvest easily yeah. again so if you guys watch the news you would know that this whole like the cloud what you're seeing that place that is filled by a cloud was literally uh what do they call that very red like the clouds were very scary and yeah so these are, this is the aftermath of the whole eruption yeah, on a clear day, like I told you, you would be able to see the mountains here, but because of the clouds, you can't, but yeah.
Hi guys, so meet my dear Sigurd. Introduce yourself. Hello guys, how are you doing? I'm a content creator from Goma, the Republic Democratic of the Congo. In case you'd like to visit, just use me. I'm here for, I love content creators. I'm yeah. part of you. Yeah. And in case you want to see my channel, I'm Rumama from my channel. And yeah. I love you all guys. Welcome to my city. You are most, most welcome. I've hosted this woman yeah. and I'm happy to be with you. We are chilling in the magma. <laughs> chilling in the, the magma. Yeah, here is the magma <laughs> of, the, of the Niragongo remains again. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Love you all.